have mostly fallen and winter is right around the corner, the summer of 85 leaves us with many memorable occasions. One of the most noted events of the summer in northeastern Ohio happens right here in Twinsburg, the annual Twins Days event. Now let's relive a weekend last August to bring a little bit of warmth into the chilly change of seasons. is unique in that it is the only town in the world with this name. Graciously given by the early settlers Moses and Aaron Wilcox in 1823. They are known as the Twins of Twinsburg. So you see, duplication always has been and always will be a part of the heritage here. Many of the 1,181 sets of twins at the 1985 Twins Festival have made this event a part of their family heritage. Oh, I'm having a time of a life. The first time I've ever been here, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. Well, I'm having a grand time, too. First time up here. Oh, we'd love to come again, but we can't count on that because we can't drive ourselves. <laughs> we would if we had a way up. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll be, be back. back. We'll be back. We love it. It's great. It's great just to meet everybody and, and get to talk to everyone. We have all something in common, so I think it's really a, an exciting time. I, I really enjoy it. It feels like family. It feels like you're having a reunion, and we, we, it, it's making everyone happy. You know? um, it's like nothing else in the world. It's, it's great. You... We've been a year waiting on this. Twins Days originated in 1976 as what was supposed to be a one-time-only bicentennial celebration. Well, it's now 1985. Twins Days is still here and has caused quite a commotion. Twins from all over the country and the world have come to this year's 10th anniversary. With so many twins in town, things can get pretty confusing. The Twins Day Committee tries to keep track of them all through registration. It's really a twofold interest. One is to find out how many twins will come. So we're hoping for a record this year. The other advantage is for the twins because in their packet they receive a program they receive whatever any organization that's about twins sends us to send to them. They get uh, what we call twin bucks that are redeemable as cash at the souvenir booth, so they get a little extra break on their souvenirs. We have a treasure chest that we have every year, and the kids, there's two keys in each packet, and they can try to open the uh, chest for prizes. So it's um, kind of a mutual admiration thing. It seems like it's becoming one big happy family. I've seen twins run into each other this year say, oh, I remember you from last year. And some of the twins we've seen, we recognize from five years, some from 10 years, and we watch little ones grow up and big ones change and get married and have kids. So it's, it's almost like a family. I think it's quite a 
close thing. Uh, we have twins from Barbados. We have twins from Toronto, um, Minnesota, California. I am not sure about European twins. I heard a French accent today, uh, but I don't know if they came from France. <laughs> and those twins from Barbados, Lyle and Percy, have enjoyed the annual event so much that their country has started its own biannual Twins Day celebration. In sunny Barbados, as well as Twinsburg, Ohio, the celebration is entertaining for everyone. You don't have to be a twin to enjoy the smorgasbord of food, crafts, and entertainment that lasts the whole weekend. Thanks for being here with us this afternoon. We'd like to start this afternoon with a very popular song back home. It's called Beautiful Barbados, and this reflects the mood of the island forever. <laughs> Barbados twins certainly were entertaining both on and off the stage. Their fine sense of humor and politeness made them many people's favorite twins. One of my personal favorites was another hot act that appeared under the big top. That was the twin combo called Hot Pink. Hot Pink Twins came to Twins Days complete with their own Twins song. They gave us permission to use the song at the beginning of this program. They also performed it for all in attendance at Twins Days. Well, this song was written actually about two years ago by the bass player in our group, Pat Neglia, and uh, it was given to us as a birthday present as in the form of a poem. Uh, which now we've recorded into record and it's, uh, we're promoting it around, for, especially for twins, because it is a very special song for twins. It's, it's, that's why it's really important that it's nice to perform it here, where everyone can really appreciate it and enjoy it. The entertainment wasn't confined to the tent. A quick stroll around the grounds, and one could find fun for young and old alike. Rides for the little kids, games for the big kids. And what's this? Face painting? What are you doing here? Painting faces. Painting faces or painting people's faces? Painting people's faces. And what are you painting on people's faces? Um, anything they want or any of our designs. Would you paint something on my face? I sure will. Myself and a whole lot of others got their faces painted for fun. Not a bad job either. Nearby, the Summit Lodge was making marks on youngsters for a more serious reason. They were fingerprinting children for identification. We're fingerprinting children. Uh, in concert with uh, the Twinsburg Police and the Child Fine program. We're not connected with the Child Fine, but um, we're doing the same thing that they do in the way of fingerprints. We, uh, the fingerprints, however, are given to the, to the parent, and uh, they take them home as a permanent record. We do not file them on record with the Twinsburg Police or any other uh, organization just uh, give them to the parents. Okay, is this an effort, a non-profit effort on your part? Yes, it's, uh, it's free. Uh, however, we do accept donations, but uh, it's all uh, just an effort on our part to do some service for the community. Back under the big top, there was one person that didn't need any identification.
I discovered my talent and personally and prior right after he died where I started taking a greater liking to him. Um, everybody wants to be like their hero, everybody wants to be like their idol and everything. So what I would I would do is I'd try to get a costume, you know, from clothes around the house or something and I first started off by lip syncing to all his records and everything. I knew practically every record by heart. But um, and after a while it started to just get a little better and a little better after that. I've done twiz at Twins Days for nothing. I just have a good time doing it. And I, it's, I just enjoy doing it. It's something I have fun with. And just seeing people, you know, smile out there, you know, memories, memories or something, it it's, just gives you kind of a good feeling in it. <laughs> Tom, while you were busy with the hot pinks, and some were weeping over Elvis, others were patiently waiting to see if their favorite doubles would place in any of the 40 contest categories. The contests, ranging from most alike, least alike, to reddest hair and cutest dimples, was enough for all 18 judges to see in double exposure. It has been said that in order to qualify as a Twins Day judge, you must be able to ride the double loop eat double scoops of ice cream, and chew double mint gum all at the same time. And on top of all those winners, predetermined Twins Day's princes, princesses, kings and queens wearing the 1985 crown are selected through pre-registration. Bryce registered uh, early, and what they did, they put, put all our names in a hat, and then they, one person chose uh, from a certain age group and males from a certain age group, so we happen to be the, the males to kind of like win. kind of like winning a sweepstakes it's like a lottery when you date do you date twins <laughs> um, this is about the only place that you ever see twins to see twins on the outside so to speak it's it's very very rare you know it, to even to even meet any anyone that's twins and that would be in our age category anyway or but as unlikely as it may seem it does happen you guys have sort of an unusual story how did you guys meet? Who's going to be the spokesman? <laughs> we met here last year at the Twins Fest. So our parents started talking, and then we started talking. And we've just been uh, corresponding since. We, we see each other about once a month. So we've been going out since. But for those who are not quite as fortunate, a directory for twins is being compiled. Ever since we were small, well, ever since we started dating, Mom was always wanting us to get together with twin guys because her boyfriend didn't understand my relationship with her, and he's sort of jealous of me. That's kind of weird, <laughs> but he's jealous of me because of the special relationship that we have. So my mother wanted to get this up, so hopefully we'd find some identical twins to marry. <laughs> it causes a lot of problems whenever individuals don't understand the close relationships with twins. And, and when you do uh, find twins and date them, they've gone through the same things that we have. And so they understand everything. And we talked to a lot of twins that were married to twins, and they've got along great because they are not jealous of the relationship that we have, like my boyfriend is now. Mm -hmm. And we're just looking for it because it, people thought, thinks it's cute being twins, but there's problems and we need to fix those problems and not make them major problems. There's been a lot of, uh, a high percentage of divorces of twins marrying individuals and a high percent uh, of twins married to twins of a successful marriage. 
There's only one set out of uh, one out of 100 twins that were married to twins that got divorced. And the reason for that was the men had uh, cancer, so it wasn't anything personal. Also, it's for uh, twins, younger twins, and their parents, where they, the parents can get together if they're uh, younger than teenage and share their joys and their problems and their clothes, things like that. This year's record Twins Day gathering of 1,181 sets of twins has been entered in Ripley's Believe It or Not. The event of the Twins Directory may bring even more twins together in the celebrations of the years to come. Due to Twins Day's continual growth, the city has built an amphitheater which was dedicated at this 10th annual celebration. I dedicate this amphitheater to the people of the city of Twinsburg. And what about Twins Day's 1986? A lot of the things that I feel are really working out this year, I think are just, this is just going to be the springboard. I think it's going to be better yet. There will be more work done in the amphitheater. Um, we'll probably be scheduling more things in there so that it's used more because it's such a beautiful site. And there's still a lot of room for growth right on the midway. So I think, absolutely, we're going to be meeting next month, planning already. With this mystical bond between twins, the dedication of the Twins Days Committee, and the pride the local residents have here, the Twins Days Festival should be a success forever.
so easy to follow.